Hi guys, Tina Gale back and can you believe it? I have another process video already and this is the other half of the double shop kit available from the scrap room in January. So this is Winter Wonderland from Doodlebug and it is so cute. It's just a fun whimsical collection and even though it has purple in it, I decided to use it. I'm scrapbooking the Christmas card that Rochelle did for all of the members of the scrap room that sent out. I thought that was so sweet of her. So it has all of the design team's photos on there and I've been wanting to do a layout of the different design teams and um, just people that I work with. So this was a perfect time to do it and it had all of the rainbow of colors and it had some purple. So I decided to do it. This is the sketch for this month so you can play along. So Hop on over to the scrap room, check out the YouTube channel, check out the Facebook group, and join in on this sketch. So I pulled out the papers that I wanted to use, and you can see the ones that were really, really purple I didn't even put in. I went through all of the embellishments, and if it was purple, I put it in a bag. So all y'all that love purple, I'm sorry, you can have mine. So... It left all of the cute pinks and the turquoise. So those are the colors that I'm going to try to pull out in my layout. So you can see this paper here. I love this paper, but it is purple, the ones with the mountains. So I chose it to be the smallest piece of paper on the layout because I'm going to pull out the little pink trees. This background paper was the teal with the pink flowers, and it also has purple flowers. So that was the primary piece that I wanted to showcase. So I'm going to cut it down and I popped the sketch up over here on the left hand side so you can follow along. I'm going to follow it pretty closely. The only thing is I'm not using four photos. I'm using one really large photo. And the circles in the background I'm going to change out for a digital cut file. So you'll see that here in a minute. Then I had the back of this paper that I had cut away, and the back of it's kind of this dark blue purple. Um, and I decided that would be a great little border for along the edge of the long piece. So I used this border punch here. It's a full doily, so you can see when you punch it out, it is scalloped on both sides, but that's okay with me because I'm just going to tuck it behind and then just use a, a part of it. Now, I did have a scalloped border punch that I could have used, but I liked this one a lot better. This one, to me, reminded me of snowflakes. So I really wanted to play off snowflakes because that's on the photo or the Christmas card that Rochelle made. And so this one reminded me of snowflakes, so that's why I chose that border punch. And you can see, I'm just going to put an adhesive on the back of that big piece of paper and then lay that border punch there. And it's just going to create this beautiful little lace border. Now the large piece of paper, I cut down just a little bit so it's not going to the edge of the paper. And you can see the sketch is drawn that way as well. You could absolutely take it all the way to the edges of the paper. Um, either way works. This is the banner that's going across the center. So I'm just cutting it down a little bit. I have pretty much just kind of looked for the size that would go well behind the photo. And then I just took my scissors and did a banner cut on the end. So you can see there, not a lot of purple showing, just enough. By the time I embellish it, you're not going to see any of it. I did use the pink cardstock in the kit to mat the photo. And it also would have been really cute to mat the white cardstock with the pink cardstock, and then it would have really pulled out the pink in the layout. So this little striped paper, I thought it was cute, and I really wanted to pull it in as well. So I just cut a really small sliver and covered up the joint between the big background and the border punch that I did. So now I'm just kind of figuring out where I want everything and which one of the die cuts are going to make it on the layout. These little animals and critters are so cute in this collection. And I love the little tree, but again, I was pulling out the turquoise and the pinks. So I'm not going to embellish with any purple. We're not putting any more purple on this page. Sorry if I'm beating a dead horse, but we're just not. <laughs> so, okay, so I've pulled out the little snowman. I know I want to use him. That fox is too adorable and that's going to give me the aqua that I want. So I definitely want to use it. That little moose, he's a cute little guy, but because he's brown and the background of the card is brown, he's just not really showing up. So he's going to 
take it off and we'll we'll find a spot for him on another page and I think he's gonna go with the abominable snowman because to me those two just kind of go together so I'll probably do some kind of winter layout and put the two of those on there together um, I had this acetate word that says capture so I have all of these and I have a really hard time using them because they don't show up on backgrounds or anything so this was a perfect time because it's a white background it matches that aqua matches the papers it's I want to capture the story and the time of working with all these awesome designers and with the scrap room so it was a perfect little place for that and I love it on the going up and down on the side of the page there so I'm so proud that I got one of those done so that is from my stash everything else other than this snowflake cut file everything else came in the double shot kit so this was actually a snowflake that I had cut out to use on a layout a long time ago, probably over a year ago, and it didn't make it. I ended up cutting different sizes. So I just have a little folder that I put all of these die cuts in, and that way when I'm doing layouts and I can put them on, then I can use them because usually I'm too lazy to go cut something on my silhouette or my Cricut while I'm creating so it's helpful to have some some of that so if you ever cut and you're worried about wasting paper don't worry about it cut cut up all kinds of shapes and just keep them in a folder so they don't get damaged and then when you're creating you can have all those extra little bonuses to work with um, I know I love them on my layouts I'm just I'm just not very good at doing them while I'm creating otherwise I just I don't have time to create so I found the pink little gloves, so that's perfect because the pink is what I really want to pull out. Over here on this right, um, I wanted something up there, and I really didn't have anything that was like a banner type. I could have cut something from paper, but there was this little, I don't know, it looks like a suitcase. I'm, I don't know if it's a suitcase or what, but it was part of the embellishments, and that blue was perfect and I'm gonna it's gonna repeat that dark blue over there and then I can embellish with pink and aqua on top of it so nobody's gonna know that was a suitcase or whatever it was supposed to be just look at your die cuts if they're good colors if there's some way you can use it tuck it off onto the side cut off the rest of it and make it work so for the circle on the background of the sketch that's where I brought in the snowflake so you can see here I've popped the sketch back up and it really follows the sketch almost identically. There is a small little embellishment up at the top left. I don't do anything up there, but I pull it. Instead, I have it to the left of my photo where those gloves are. That's where my other embellishment's going to go. So here I've decided to put the fox and the snowman off to the side there, just cluster them together, and then I'm going to put the little tree, I'm going to pop dot it up so that all of those little pieces, so the fox and the trees pop dotted up, the snowman's flat. So it just gives that fun little dimension, and then I put the word together, which was in the die cut pack, or I think it was, it might have been for my stash as well, I can't remember now. Um, just put that down there again for another part of the title. So on the card it says best year ever. So it can be best year ever together. And so all of this journaling is going to be all about the designers. So on the gloves, I also pop dotted one of the gloves up and put the other one flat so there would be a little bit of dimension. And then there was these hearts, the dark heart, a snowflake, and a flower. So I just kind of scattered those around in the embellishment clusters. And then I'm going to add some of the sparkly little enamel dots and if you have not seen these enamel dots you need to check them out because they are gorgeous they have just that little bit of shimmer and kind of glitter inside of them and they're that beautiful turquoise so i just add those and that's pretty much it i do have the little jelly snowman paper clip and i'm going to clip it up at the top onto the card there and that's it. I'm going to have some still shots here on the end and some close-ups so you can check it out. And again, please join us over on the Scrap Room. Come join in on the Sketch Challenge. There's also the Freaky Fast Friday, so if you follow me, you know how much I love it. Check out all the kits. Um, I think January may be all sold out, but you can start with January. And she has um, older kits in the store as well as individual kits and all kinds of products, so check that out. 
And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. So click that um, subscribe button and the notification bell, and I will see you soon with some more process videos. Have a great day. Bye-bye.